All right, welcome back. In this video, I just want to quickly go over the matrix transpose. It's uh, one of the easier concepts in linear algebra, but I figure I might as well make a video dedicated to this while we are at it. So basically, when you take the transpose of a matrix, you are switching the rows with the columns. So if we have a matrix, let's say it's matrix A, and let's say that it is a three by three matrix with these elements. So what we do is when we take the transpose, which we indicate with a superscripted capital T, basically you just look at what is row one. We have the elements one, two, three. Row two is four, five, six, and row three is seven, eight, nine. You just set row one to be equal to column one. So column one will just be one, two, three. Column two will be what row two used to be. So we have four, five, six and column three will be what row three used to be, so seven, eight, nine. All right, what we could have done is we could have taken column one and set it as row one. So column one here is one, four, seven. Then uh, we, if we set column one to row one, then we get that one, four, seven. Column two is two, five, eight. Row two is two, five, eight. Column three is three, six, nine row three is three, six, nine, after we have applied the transpose. So you can kind of look at it either way. Other people interpret this as flipping the matrix across the main diagonal, um, which totally works, and it works for non-square matrices as well. It's just I prefer to think about just interchanging rows with columns. Um, now, if we take the transpose of the transpose, so if we have the transpose of a transpose well we're just going to repeat the process again so we can take let's do um, let's say that we'll take the rows and we'll write them as the columns so row one is one four seven so we write column one as one four seven row two is two five eight so column two is two five eight and then row three is three six nine so column three is three six nine and when we look at this we get this matrix, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that is exactly what we started with at the beginning for matrix A. So A transpose, if you take the transpose of a matrix and then transpose it again, you get the original matrix that you started with. All right, so let's do another example where we have a non-square matrix. So let's say we have matrix B and let's make this a two by four matrix. So we'll just do some simple elements here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we got two by four matrix, two rows, four columns. So if we wanna take B transpose, we can either look at the rows and write those as the columns, or we can look at the columns and write those as the rows. We're going to get exactly the same thing. So let's look at the rows here. So we got row one, it has elements one, two, three, four. So let's put those in as column one. So we get one, two, three, four. And then row two is five, six, seven, eight. So we write that as column two, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, and we close that off. So we started out with a two by four matrix and we ended up with a four by two matrix. And if we had uh, looked, if we had swapped the columns for the rows, again, you'd see the same thing. So column one here is one five, row one is one five. Column two is two six, row two is two six. Three seven, three seven, and four eight, four eight. So whichever way you prefer to do it totally works. And then again, if we just want to take the transpose of the transpose, again, just to kind of show you that it will return back to B. Well, let's um, let's do that. Let's write the rows as the columns this time. So row one is one five, so that means column is going column one is going to be one five. Row two is two six, so column two becomes two six, three seven. That column becomes three seven, and the fourth row becomes the fourth column, which is four eight. And that is exactly what we started with uh, for matrix B here, a two by four that has elements one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, as we go through them one row at a time. So that is equal to B, which was a two by four matrix. Cool. Uh, I guess let's just throw out one more example while we're here, um, because this one sometimes people ask about, uh, let's say we have matrix C, and let's say that matrix C is a four by one matrix. So just one column, we have one, two, three, four elements in there that happen to be the numbers one through four. Um, Go four by one matrix. If we take the transpose of this, which is not the letter B, it's the letter C. Then we can write basically, this is one column. So just write this as the first row. One, 
two, three, four. Or again, if you wanted to think about writing this as columns or rows first, this row one becomes column one, row two becomes column two, row three becomes column three, and row four becomes column four. So column one, column two, column three, and column four. And uh, what, what did I do down here? This is supposed to be four, uh, one by four. Let's change that back to what it should be. So this is actually, sorry, a one by four matrix. And then again, just lastly, if we transpose this, transpose again, boom, I guess you can probably see where this is going. This is just going to go right back to what C was as just one, two, three, four. All right, so that is equal to C. So there you go, there's just a couple examples of the matrix transpose, just in case you were searching for it. Um, but otherwise, it's a pretty simple concept. Uh, and it does have some applications as we will be moving on into determinants and things like that. So I guess it was worth just making a quick video on this. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. And I will see you in the next video.